I'll be showing to you a quick and easy on how to edit vintage photos in Snapseed. Hi guys! So welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe down below so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And yes, for today's video, I will be showing to you a tutorial or something I discovered sa Snapseed. If you want to know more about this video, just keep on watching. So first thing and foremost, you will need a phone and also the app available on Snapseed sa iOS at saka sa Android. Let's go, open natin yung Snapseed and then open natin yung photo na gusto na natin i-edit. So ito na photo is last, last year ko pa itong kinuha. So itong nasa photo is pinsan ko to. So first is punta tayo dito sa tools and then rainy film. Add natin yung filter na X04 and then yung grain, baba na natin mga 15. Then yung style niya, style strength is baba natin to 55. So, then balik tayo sa tools and then tune image. And then add tayo ng content brightness, mga plus 10. Then contrast, mga negative. 5, then, then saturation, negative, then, and then ambience, add natin mga 25. Highlights, add natin mga 15. Then sa shadows, mga 10. Then sa warm, mga 10. So yeah, as you can see, medyo may kulay na baga vintage yung photo natin as of now. So, papagandahin pa natin to by adding some curves. Punta tayo sa curves and then dito sa highlights. So, sa curves, nandito yung highlights, mid-tones at shadows. Sa highlights, adjust tayo ng konti. And then sa mid-tones din. And also sa shadows. And then, taas na natin to ng konti. Yeah. So, ito yung setting sa atin sa shadows, mid-tones, at saka highlights. Then, sa red, adjust natin yung color ng red, green, blue. Sa red, add natin dito sa highlights. Sa, sa mid-tones. And also sa green. Then sa blue. Basically, ang curves medyo tricky na part pero makuha mo yung gusto mo na kulay sa photo. Kailangan mo lang talaga mag-adjust na adjust adjust para makuha mo yung gusto mo na goal mo sa isang photo na edit. Then, adjust tayo dito sa selective para medyo makuha natin yung exposure ng mukha niya. Click natin ito. Sa selective, nandito yung brightness contrast, saturation, at saka structure. So, add tayo na ito. Then, boom. So, as you can see, medyo vintage na siya konti. Pero, mas pa-vintage pa natin to by adding uh, rusty or dust na overlay sa photo. So, how to add yung para overlay? Punta lang kayo dito sa tools. Baba, and then double exposure. Then, add. Add mo yung photo na dinownload mo parang rusty or dust. Then, yun. Then, dito, add mo dito yung opacity na yung parang dusty niya. And then, lighten lang yung parang settings niya sa overlay. Add lang natin ng konti. Then, adjust mo lang ng konti kung saan mo gusto ilagay yung dusty na part. Then, Yes, I guess that's all. So, ito na yung after or yung vintage photos na gusto natin magkuha. So, tingnan natin yung before and after. So, ito yung before at saka ito yung after. So, medyo okay na din siya pang vintage siya photos. So, makuha mo na din yung parang rusty na vibe. 
ng isang photos by adding double exposure or yung rusty the dust na overlay. So, yeah, you have now the vintage photos in just a minute. So, I guess that's all for today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. And comment down below what you guys want to see in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video. And if you have some suggestions or anything that you want to see, please feel free to comment down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Until then, see you in my next one. Bye!